So this morning when I woke up, uh, I checked uh, Hackaday as I usually do. And Hackaday has had the weekly links uh, article online. Um, and one of the blurbs, uh, one of the links was to uh, the Arduino core for the ESP32 we as Espressive just have uh, released. And one of the things it mentioned is that if you're looking for ESP32 hardware, they're infrequently available and frequently out of stock. Um, unfortunately, this is true. The demand for the ESP32 chip is huge and uh, stock levels aren't what they are supposed to be yet. Um, uh, what it also said was, thankfully, stock levels won't be the, the Raspberry Pi Zero all over again until someone figures out how to run a NES emulator on the ESP32. Well, this is absolutely true. Um, we may not have uh, much stock now, but uh, we expect this to get better in the future. And we definitely don't have the intention of hitting Raspberry Pi Zero levels ever. Okay, with, the, with that being said, um, today I found a nice little new board on my desk at Espressive. Uh, this is something that has just been developed. Um, it is basically a board, um, uh, a developer's board for the ESP32. Um, it has, come on, focus. Yeah, it has the, the ESP uh, Room32 uh, module on here, which is a nice uh, module uh, with the uh, ESP32 uh, and all the RF bits, etc. integrated into it. It has an FT2232 um, implemented on it, and uh, you can use that to uh, talk to the serial port of the ESP32, as well as debug the ESP32 using JTAG. Uh, it has a micro SD card here, um, it has a camera interface here and it has a nice big uh, 320 times 240 uh, display in the back. And I had this on my desk because I had to test this. This, this is like in the first prototype and um, I needed to check if everything works. And obviously I can do that by just writing a test program and seeing if everything works. But I thought it would be more interesting to uh, go at slightly different route. So what I did was, this is a PlayStation 2 controller, which is connected to it uh, using these wires. And what I did was I basically downloaded a NES emulator and ported that to the ESP32. And as you can see, and that actually works fairly well. So um, this is, uh, the NES emulator is known as NoFriendo. Um, and um, it's a pretty capable uh, NES emulator. Come on, focus. Yeah. Um, and uh, my port to the ESP32 actually runs pretty solidly. Uh, the uh, NES runs at, at native speed. Um, the uh, frame rate of the LCD is, 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 is somewhat slower than you would expect, but that is mostly because the LCD driver at the moment is not that optimized. It doesn't use DMA at all. Um, it's, it's somewhat slower than it can be. And also um, there is no sound yet because I decided I wanted to implement this in one working day uh, because I also have uh, other things to do and I just didn't get around to implementing sound. Otherwise it works perfectly well. Um, you can actually play yeah, Mario or uh, a fair amount of other NES games on it. Nope, I shouldn't reset it. And um, yeah, in general, I'm pretty happy with it. I, I, uh, I've shown that the board uh, works um, and well, we will see what the existence of a NES emulator does for the availability of the ESP32. So uh, finally, this, this thing is entirely open source as in the, um, the emulator itself is GPL. The additions I made to it are uh, Apache licensed. Um, or um, actually the, 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 the bits outside the emulator that, that you need to get it working. And the entire thing will be downloadable on Espressive's GitHub. So I hope you all get your uh, ESP32 very soon and thanks for watching.